thank you for being here, but man, people yes. love you. We Goodbye, my friend. It's hard to die. From Mike Tricks to John Wick, Keanu Reeves ranks high among the most beloved actors in Hollywood. A charmer and a handsome actor, his foray into the movie industry introduced him as one of those handsome young actors. He eventually carved out a noteworthy career for himself. His early highs coming from his role in the blockbuster sci-fi film The Matrix and action film Speed. Reeves is also loved beyond the stage as he has devoted much of his time and wealth to worthy causes including cancer research and funding children's hospitals. After his hit role in The Matrix, he allegedly donated 70% of his earnings to cancer research. Today on Beginnings, we take a look at the saddest and kindest actor Keanu Reeves why he thought he would never have a family, why he was blacklisted by Fox Studios for 10 years, and how his kindness transcends beyond the big screen. The birth and unassuming childhood of a movie star. Keanu Reeves has a very mixed ancestry, adding to his unique personality. He has also had an interesting childhood, which might be contributed in no small way to his perception of families. Born on the 2nd of September 1964 in Beirut, Lebanon, his parents were a young couple from totally different backgrounds. His mother, Patricia Bond, was of English descent, born and raised in Essex. She later left her home and met Keanu's father, Samuel, in Lebanon. Samuel Nolan Reeves, on the other hand, was a Hawaiian with a lot of history. His descendants include native Hawaiian, Chinese, English, Irish and Portuguese. Patricia was a costume designer and a performer, while Samuel was a geologist. Keanu's father struggled with drugs and was later caught selling drugs at Hilo Airport in Hawaii in 1992. Keanu has a younger sister, Kim Reeves, and other half-siblings from his father's escapades. Growing up was not smooth sailing for Keanu, as his father left when he was barely three years old, divorcing his mother in 1966. He did not meet his father until they met on the Hawaiian island of Kauai ten years later. Besides this, he and his father have not had the best relationships. The falling out has even deepened with time, as he was quoted in Rolling Stone magazine saying, The story with me and my dad's pretty heavy. It's full of pain and woe and fucking loss and all that shit. On his father's side, he noted that Reeves had made it clear he did not want to have anything to do with him. The divorce between his parents marked the beginning of a period in his childhood where he travelled across the world. First, his mother moved to Sydney, Australia with the two children. After a while, the family moved to New York City. In New York, Patricia met Paul Aaron, a Broadway and Hollywood director. She married him in 1970. The family moved to Toronto, Canada and the couple divorced a year into the marriage. At age nine, Reeves took part in a theatre production of Damn Yankees, his first acting experience. During this period, he was quite close with Aaron, his stepfather, who has also taken a liking to him. Moreover, Aaron recommended Reeves to the Hedgerow Theatre in Pennsylvania. The Reeves family stayed in Toronto's Yorkville neighbourhood for most of the 70s and all of the 1980s. Patricia married Robert Miller, a rock music promoter in 1976, but they had to split up in 1980. She then wed hairstylist Jack Bond and remained married to him until 1994, when Reeves was already a major player in the film industry. Academics and Dreams of Ice Hockey Stardom as for his academics, Reeves is quite popular for attending four separate high schools without getting a diploma at any. In fact, he got expelled from the Etobicoke School of Arts. While still in school, he had quite a mouth, which got him in trouble on multiple occasions. While in high school, Reeves did not do badly in his academics at all, as he had a firm grasp of English and creative writing. He was also on the chess team. He attended De La Salle College, where he took a liking to ice hockey. He was a good goalkeeper and even wanted to become a professional ice hockey player and he dreamt of playing for the Canadian Olympic team. He later gave up on this idea when he turned 15, opting to be an actor instead. 
After he left De La Salle College, he went to Avondale Secondary Alternative School, which let him get an education while he worked as an actor. When he was 17, he quit high school. Entering the movie industry. In 1984, Reeves began his foray into the movie industry with a role in an episode of the Canadian television series Hangin' In. The series aired on CBC in Canada and was briefly aired on Nickelodeon in America. This was before he moved to LA two years later. Reeves started acting in movies when he moved to Hollywood in 1986. He was in River's Edge, a teen crime drama, and permanent record in which he portrayed the best friend of a teen who kills himself. But Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which came out in 1989, may have been Reeves' big break. Reeves was just coming off a role in a period drama, Dangerous Liaisons, and his performance as the genius who gets high, Ted, earned him instant praise. Even though Bill and Ted got mixed reviews, Reeves' performance was generally praised, and the movie did well at the box office. His role in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was thought to be funny, and it gave people an impression of of what type of a person he was, a fact that eventually changed with time. A few years later, he started making more mature movies, like My Own Private Idaho, a drama about two street hustler friends who go on a journey to find out more about themselves. The film was somewhat based on a couple of books written by Shakespeare, and it followed the story of two friends, Mike Waters and Scott Favor, who River Phoenix and Keanu Reeves respectively played. The movie was relatively successful and gave Reeves a stepping stone to other roles. First Taste of Grief on the Road to Stardom while Reeves began to rise in the movie industry, he made friends. And a friend he made the most was also seen poised for greatness like him was River Phoenix. River was the brother of Joaquin Phoenix. River had begun to experience the early signs of success, but he also began to feel the weight of the celebrity lifestyle. He struggled with fame and eventually started to use drugs as an escape. Phoenix, age 23, tragically passed away after collapsing outside the Viper Room nightclub in Los Angeles on October 31st. River's death affected the entirety of Hollywood and Reeves particularly felt the impact too, since he had a close relationship with River. This occurrence, coupled with others to come, might have been partly responsible for making Reeves the ultimate celebrity introvert that we all know him to be. Stepping into the limelight. By 1994, Reeves had gradually become a familiar face in Hollywood, although he had not yet broken into the blockbuster level. His big break came in 1994 with the crime thriller movie, Speed. The plot of the action movie centered on the efforts of Reeves' character, an LAPD detective, tasked with attempting to rescue citizens trapped on a bus rigged with bombs by a serial bomber. It was during the shooting of this movie that Phoenix died and his death really affected Reeves. The movie, which starred Reeves and Sandra Bullock, did well at the box office and with critics when it came out. On the set of Speed, Bullock and Reeves became close and the actor even left her gifts while filming was going on. When it came to Film the sequel, Speed 2, Reeves turned down the $11 million role. His action caused him to be blacklisted by Fox for more than a decade in what he would describe as movie jail. A second and third visit from death. In 1988, Reeves met Jennifer Syme at a party that had been thrown for Dogstar, a band he played for, and they started dating. Jennifer soon found out that she was pregnant, but just before Christmas in 1999, Symes noticed that she hadn't felt the baby move in days. Both of them moved quickly to the hospital, where an ultrasound examination confirmed that the unborn child had passed away. On December 24, 1999, Syme gave birth to their stillborn daughter, Ava Archer Symes Reeves. The loss hurt the couple and they broke up a few weeks later in January. After the death, things began to take a positive turn for Reeves as he had gotten the role for The Matrix, a movie that would revolutionize science fiction globally, but death was still around the corner. In 1999, he started in the first installment of The Matrix, a movie about a hacker named Neo, played by Reeves, who discovers that humanity had been trapped in an illusionary world. With Morpheus's help, he can break out of this illusion and work with Morpheus in fighting robots. Neo receives powers and defeats Agent Smith, the principal antagonist of the first movie. Then, on the 1st of April 2001, Reeves met up with Syme and hung out at a popular spot in San 
Francisco. The next morning around 6am, Syme was found dead in a car accident. Syme's car crashed into a row of three parked cars. She died immediately after being partially thrown from the car. It was later discovered that Reeves and Syme had gotten back together just before the accident. These deaths, coupled with the childhood instability, contributed in no small way to Reeves' uncertainty about having his own family. This was not even the only challenge he faced during that period, as he discovered in 1991 that his sister Kim was fighting against leukemia. She battled leukemia for almost a decade, and Reeves was one of her biggest supporters. In 1999, she went into remission and now lives peacefully in Rome, finishing the Matrix and a relative quietness afterwards. Keanu Reeves completed the other installments of The Matrix and earned about $250 million during the franchise's run. He acted in a couple of other movies, including The Watcher, which he acted against his wishes as a serial killer who stalked a retired FBI agent, and a couple of other different roles. None of these roles were as big as Neo in The Matrix. Fame again as John Wick. Perhaps his most famous role to date is his role as a retired assassin who has experienced the pain of losing his family and finally breaks when his dog, his only living companion, is taken from him. The first chapter of the franchise was in 2014, and no one would have thought a movie about a man on a revenge mission because of his dog's death would garner so much attention. There was also the connection Reeve shared with John as a man who understood grief and the pain of losing those close to him. The movie is set for a fourth chapter. The fourth chapter sees John Wick go against the High Table Global. He pits heads against the power brokers of the underworld. John Wick fights for his freedom, but that will take him across the globe going against friends turned foe. The New York Times named him the number four greatest actor of the 21st century in 2020. Keanu Reeves, not just saving people from the Matrix. There have been instances when Keanu Reeves has shown the kind side of him to friends and pure strangers. On one occasion, he was seen riding the train in New York City, 10 years after becoming famous for The Matrix. He spots a woman approaching with a large suitcase and motions for her to take a seat by pointing to his seat. Reeves stands up to allow the woman to take the seat he had been using when she accepts his offer. Reeves then moves to a neighboring location while still carrying his backpack and clutching onto a Metro pole. On another occasion, he showed up at a movie theatre and James Data was working at the theatre. Still a teenager back then and a fan of Reeves, he was surprised to see him there. He tried to get Reeves' signature but couldn't. When he thought all hope was lost, he heard a knock on the door and when he opened the door, Keanu Reeves was holding a receipt from the concession stand with his signature on it. He told Team Data that he observed he wanted his signature and decided to give it to him. Afterwards, he threw away the ice cream since he only bought it to have something to sign on. Reeves is also respectful towards women when taking photos as he was seen not touching women when taking photos with them. There have been multiple instances whereby Reeves is posing for photos but chooses not to wrap his hands around their waist, keeping them hovering behind instead. Reeves has earned the reputation as one of the kindest people in Hollywood. After his younger sister Kim was stricken with leukemia, he started a fund to aid children with cancer. Despite giving the foundation millions of dollars, the actor has chosen to remain nameless in order to allow the fund to serve families affected by cancer. Reeves is incredibly kind to everyone he works with. According to reports, he provided the stunt squad for The Matrix Reloaded their own Harley Davidson motorcycles and awarded employees of the most recent John Wick movie Rolex watches costing thousands of dollars. Finding Love Again he seems to have healed a little as he has found love again. He met visual artist Alexandra Grant at a dinner party in 2009, and they made their relationship public 10 years later. John Wick has been a phenomenal actor on and off screen. Despite facing a number of personal challenges, including the loss of several loved ones, Reeves has remained a popular and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. He is known for his generosity, kindness and humility, and has been praised for his dedication to his craft and his philanthropic efforts. For more inspiring stories like this, don't forget to like and subscribe.